All right, I couldn't find my uh, holding jig for my camera, and so I've kind of had to improvise with a different bench. So this is a rearward uh, barrel travel, uh, barrel lug inside the locking block. Uh, this is a version 2, uh, model 17, uh, polymer 80. And this is a version 1, compact. And I have, for the, I have Advantage Arms 22 conversion slides for each of these. Uh, this one's polished. This one's an older variant with the larger, um, spring and you can see here it's a larger hole uh, a little bit larger com in comparison so this one is the uh, the 17 the full size and then this one is for the compact so just leave it. so in comparison, uh, you can see the, the full size locking block is a fair bit longer, and they both um, are of different, you know, they're both different sizes, obviously, but you can just see the, the size of the you know the length of the locking block themselves and then you can also see the larger locking block on the full size it's it's a bit longer and then the the uh, the distance in the locking block area for the lug is is quite a bit larger as well So, if I uh, install this as it would if it was installed in the slide, you can see it move the locking bar down, and then it snaps into place, and you can see, I try to hold steady here, you can see it's very little, I would say there's maybe 15 thousandths um, maybe 20 and I can it will come out if I you know tip it rearward but it will not come out if I try to pull it forward and it's relatively tight now the full size is a different story so same thing Engage the slides or the stop or the locking bar slides into place, and then you can see this one has it's probably close to 80 thousands. And I, I didn't measure it, but uh, so we'll see what that equates to installed. Gotta get that ejector notch lined up. So this is the rearward travel. And I'll see here, if I just push back with my thumb, you 
Yeah, maybe it may be twenty thousands. But on the flip side, I cannot, the barrel does not move. It doesn't matter if this is full forward or if it's if it's pressed back that little bit and I hold it. There I can't, the barrel doesn't move. If I if I take a punch and just, you know, use it as a leverage device lightly, it it I can't move the barrel. It, and if it is, it's it's very slight. Alright. So here is the full size. Significantly more. It's it's at least 80. And you'll see here if I push down the barrel, it'll actually move the slide back. Oops. And it's hard to show here without moving a bunch, but so I'm going to take do the same thing. I got the punch in here. See how much that moves? I'm able to force the the barrel down and it moves the slide back. But of course it doesn't move it back the full. See if I'll move it back here. Oops. That's just pushing on the barrel, not the slide. Anyway, just curious if uh, what y'all think.